So I can't believe I'm saying this, but Idaho Falls, stop being so polite. Yeah. We'd say this is sort of like a PSA, public service yeah. announcement. Yeah, lay it on me. You cannot grant other drivers the right of way. No, of course not. Have you ever had, like, maybe That's... let's say you were turning right onto Hit or 17th, mm -hmm. pretty busy road. Right. And have another, they're coming out of a parking lot, mm -hmm. had another driver stop, stop traffic, and, and kind of wave you out. Right. They don't know where you're going. Right. You might need to be getting into the left-hand lane. Uh-huh. Right. Or you may be turning left. Mm -hmm. If there's four lanes of traffic and one driver stops for you, here's what the PSA says. Let's throw it up here. It's from XKCD Comics. Mm -hmm. And I will like, say, too, one thing I hate about that is when they're stubborn about it. Right. Like they wave you and then you wave them saying, no, dude, this isn't going to work for me. Go. And you like, try your no, sign no, no. language pointing. Right. When one driver in four or five lanes of traffic, counting the turn lane, decides to stop and grant you the right of way they don't know where you're going what did it say if someone waves you out assume they are an assassin sent from the future to kill you <laughs> and make it look like an accident <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious and yeah that's a great way to get into a car accident this is a great problem to have mm -hmm. in idaho falls we seem to i seem to get into polite contests with a lot of drivers <laughs> I think that's true. At a four-way stop, for example. Right. When I roll up to a four-way stop and I know it's a four-way stop, mm -hmm. I'm looking around going, okay, what cars were here before me? Right. After they all go, then I can go. Mm -hmm. But then you've got a guy who got there before you. It's mm -hmm. his turn to go. And he's like, yeah, come on, dude. And it's not a big, sometimes big semi-trucks do that. And I get that. Right. Yeah, because they're going to take forever and yes. it takes time for them to get going. Sure, that's fine. And I, I just assume that they're more aware of the road than I am. Especially because they've actually got a high profile vehicle so they can look up and around uh, yeah. like, you, you know, Simba and Mufasa looking over Pride Rock. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> I'm the bottom of the Ferris wheel. Right. They're the top. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's really frustrating to me when I see people do that mm -hmm. because you could pull out and then get creamed. Yes. By another car. In fact, one thing that I've started doing when I see a car slow down on a street and they're not signaling, mm -hmm. I always slow down too because I assume they're stopping for a four year old toddler in the middle of the road. Right, which has totally happened. Or a happened cat before or a squirrel. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was one time my dad was on this like 50 miles per hour road and out of nowhere, like as he was, and it was like dusk. So it was kind of dark. But as he started down the road, a kid, like, maybe three years old, a toddler Scary. in like a diaper and a t-shirt standing in the middle of the road. And S thankfully speaking of terrible parents, <laughs> right. And thankfully he stopped and returned the kid to the like one house on the road, which also dude, you know that that road is right in front of your house. How are you not eagle eyeing those kids all the time? This, yeah, this has pet cemetery written all over it. Spoiler right? alert. Yeah. yeah. The moral of the story kids is don't be polite, be predictable. Right. Right? Yes. I think that's a great way of putting it. That makes well, all and, the sense in the world. And you've told me this saying that your dad told you, Mike, you can be right and also be dead. Yes. You know? Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, the best thing that you can do as a driver is be predictable so that people can be right and not be dead. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but Idaho Falls, stop being so polite. Yeah. Be <laughs> assholes for a second. <laughs> Care about yourself. Be more like the drivers in L.A. Don't be polite, be predictable. <laughs> right. I think that's a great way of putting it. safety <laughs> issue. Yeah. Now, that's not to be confused with the other rule, don't block the intersection. Mm -hmm. When there's cross traffic, that's a different story. Totally different. Yeah. Yeah. Like coming out of the fireworks on July 4th, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of that. Yep. You know, where some dumbass doesn't, he's not watching both the light in front of him and the car in front of him mm -hmm. to see if there's enough room for him to make it through the intersection and be clear of the intersection. Right, right. All right. Have we bitched enough about that? You and another thing. Actually, I do have another thing. Oh, okay. Hi, welcome to Carly's Driving School. <laughs> All right. There's, School me. <laughs> there's nothing that pisses me off more, and I mean this, than the people who are driving down the road and decide to slow down before getting in the turning lane. What do you think that turning lane is for, my guy? The whole point of the turning lane is to not interrupt the flow of traffic. So if you slow down to get into the turning lane, you're interrupting the flow of traffic. Without signaling. And not using it properly. Also, slower traffic, keep right. <sighs> right. 
What if the a guy behind you is a maniac going 10 over the speed limit? You are, by definition, slower traffic. Right. So get your ass over to the right. <laughs> <sighs> Gets me heated. Do we need a cool down? Here, let's have a <laughs> let's have a drink of this tasty sparkling ice yeah, star- you know starburst strawberry zero sugar. That might make me a little sweeter. <laughs> Delicious. Just fantastic. Thanks for this. Where'd you get them again? Brolems and Okay. Mm-hmm. 